It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC North. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns, next on Madden Football. Uh, the dog pound will be barking as EA Sports is pleased to join you from the always raucous Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Today we've got a good one on tap in the AFC North as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon joined as always by my partner Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, these Browns, no other way to say it. They took a step back last year. Now, what do you think that they need to do to get back to the playoffs while competing in a tough AFC North? They need to get back to the identity that their head coach established a couple of seasons ago. A hard running game, consistent play from their quarterback, and then they have new management on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try and get after you in the pass rush. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out playing Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Cleveland. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure is about to get to him. They will start this drive with four. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, I give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Now second and nine. Here's Watson. Receiver Cooper, and he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Now second and five. To throw is Watson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine Donovan Peoples-Jones, and it's third and five. Watson now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's four. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. They run with four. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 
17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. That's what I love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Again, they turn to four. And he's gonna be down close to a first down at the Ravens 20 yard line. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still third down. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Now Watson. say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns are out to a 3-0 lead. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. Field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Great to see Edwards back doing what he does best. Mr. Dependable for the Ravens' backfield. He's faced injury woes the last two years, missing all of 2021 and almost half of 2022. But back at full strength now, he can be a load. And they run the option here on first and 10. The quick feet by Jackson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And 24 yards the gain there, another first down as well. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. First carry now for Justice Hill. Down to about the 37. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. And they run with Edwards off the option. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 
10 yards there. Good enough for a Raven first down. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, 27 yards. And the Ravens have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. Fights through and now a crease. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line, tackled there. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Here's Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Back to throw, Watson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. To the air yet again, Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. On the ground, it's Ford. Boy, shifts past him. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That good for 22 with a first down. All right, partner, keep adding up the yardage. My man is off to a big-time start in this one. Oh, yeah, you know, when these guys get a first-quarter run like that, they're thinking, all right, now I'm going to get a second, third, and fourth-quarter run like that. 
like that, correct? Have you ever seen a guy have a run like that and feel good about himself and then tap out and want to come out of the game? No. No, he wants the ball some more, doesn't he? Yeah. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Deshaun Watson. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Browns are once again back in front. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that drive in total eight plays. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. He would have it on the ground. <laughs> and he stopped immediately there. Zadaria Smith able to get him down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Here's Jackson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. Sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now it's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 44 yards. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Jackson options out left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. Tucker's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. 
So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning of that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Ten apiece as the kicks away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Browns set to take over. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Now he'll take a shot for Peoples-Jones. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. This is Ford. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now it's Watson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. On first down, Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper, and he's brought down. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Ten ten, our score after one on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, Watson. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith, and the Ravens are going to get it back here just past the 35. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. In motion left, Flowers. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Ball on the 39. Here's a second and seven. Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 
51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. The tight end in motion right. Edwards now on first and ten. And he gets halfway home from the ten to the five on a pickup of five. And hold on here because on that last run it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Second and five. They run once more with Edwards. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Jackson's going to keep it. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Tucker's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Watson's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. John Harbaugh never shy about bringing out the red challenge flag, and he'll do so here. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Review the play. The ruling on the field is reversed. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. Second and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Four, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. 
in order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. And take it right on the 30. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They start the drive on the ground with Hill. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 44-yard line, here's second and a yard. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Bad news, they didn't get it on second down. The good news is they still only need about three or four inches here on third. And the good play callers have looked at both situations. They thought to themselves, okay, this call, I pick up the first down, already ready with that call. If I don't, this is what I'm going to come back with in order to pick it up. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. This is taken at about the 14. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know? He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Justin Matabike. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's four. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Third and 19. 
17, no problem as they're able to convert. That was a beautiful executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. down four and he takes this up right near the 45 yard line give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down i really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain so he found where there was the most space and got what he could a nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense on second down it's four Pushing forward for three up to the 48. The Browns on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. Looking to throw. Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Pass complete on the out route to Beckham. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offense coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. He'll get nine yards on the keeper there, but it's still going to leave him with a third and one. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And he will have a Ravens first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first and ten, it's Jackson out to his left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Another outstanding season by Garrett in 2022. His second year in a row with 16 sacks, tied for second in the league. In just his seventh season, he's almost a virtual lock to become the Browns' career sacks leader. On second down, it's Edwards. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. They need 12 here. It's third down. Now it's Jackson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. 
And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing is Jackson. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Back to throw. It's caught by OBJ. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 33. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. Complete to likely. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw is Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman from 13 yards out. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help, and I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score, and sometimes your strategy is, Okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring, quote-unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Throwing. 
going there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine, Donovan Peoples-Jones. And now it's second down. Now Watson, this short pass into the hands of Njoku. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Out of the gun, Watson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert, and I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. He's got the connection to Cooper. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Jackson. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. Now is second and ten. Jackson now. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He'll go in the box as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. 
Jackson on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. The throw over the middle, taken in. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Jackson going to keep it running right. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Play action. Now Jackson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Now it's Jackson. Over the middle to back him. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now, hang on. We got an injured player down there. Oh, boy, that's Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, who's hurting. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. From the gun, they go to Edwards. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. That was an example of excellent defense there. They stopped him. So now it brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll go down at the 28. It's a first down following a gain of three. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the 23, here's second and five. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That one into the hands of Flowers. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. This for Beckham and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, 
methodical as one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit things looking good for them here in the third quarter not only pulling away but you mentioned that slowly but surely you also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that so you really give yourself an advantage Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off of play action, it's Watson. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's Watson. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. This Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone describe the game as really slowed down. Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. Here now, third and a yard. They go play action with Jackson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big, and he did it with the defense, giving him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 35-yard line. Here's Jackson. And they will 
not get the connection there. It's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. That'll bring up second down. On the counter, it's Edwards. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. And on third down, the Browns going to go with a nickel set. Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. Hill shedding the tackle. There they are to stop him but he does take it all the way to the two they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal it doesn't matter where on the field he is even down here in the red zone he is still slippery with the ball in his hands and he was almost able to work his way into the end zone instead they'll have to settle for first and goal but they'll take it Edwards is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top, but right now... And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Justin Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And now the Browns coming out on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now a give right side. Ford. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. He's done his part sailing past the century mark on the ground with rushing yardage, but his team, a different story. Yeah, they're down big in this ball game, so sometimes you wonder to yourself how much of that is him with a great performance 
And how much of that is the defense just loosening up because they have a big lead? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Here's Watson now on second down. Throw out wide is incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine, Donovan Peoples-Jones, and it's third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And where they are on the scoreboard almost dictates taking this big shot and trying to get right back into the game. They took it there and couldn't connect. Despite the defense being ready, go ahead and force it downfield. See what you can get. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of a team may not have anything to say at all. May oh, tell the rest of the coaches, up a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in oh basketball, <laughs> getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan had, wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing tonight. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Here's Jackson to throw. Oh, what a move. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. 63 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. They'll go back to Edwards on first down to about the 35, second down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it, keep grinding clock. Now it's Jackson. A swing pass here to Edwards. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On fourth down, here's the option. Yeah, that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. Boy, you know, some plays you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. 
first kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Watson now to throw. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. From the 29, here's second and three. Watson. Eluding the pressure right. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To throw is Watson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. To the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 21, here's the second down and four. Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start, and pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way, and plays like that across all phases of the game, They've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Jackson scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Ravens start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, 
because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. On first down, Watson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Now Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The escapability in evidence there as that one good for 15 and a first. First down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Back to throw, Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now it's Watson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. On first down, it's Watson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. They run with Ford. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Here's Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, they knew who to turn to on fourth down. Their horse, they needed the short yardage. He just couldn't get it. And that's a surprise because normally that's bread and butter for them, right? Hand it to the big guy, let him go, pick up the first down. Didn't get it there. All credit to the defense. Usually, even if they know he's coming, he can't be stopped. And they got it done on that play. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 88 yards on the ground so far for Edwards. It's a first down. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delayed game, Austin. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. On second down, here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to kick it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Yeah. 
Now a first down throw, Watson. Wide open receiver complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Watson on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Ah, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. One last throw here for Watson. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down. out there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. And they'll indeed take a knee. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance, that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cleveland.